Tonight on the Maritime Beer Report, the Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation released its financial statement, and the craft beer category is amazing. Big Spruce says, keep on trucking. Boxing Rock gets ready to say goodbye to Session Easter for the year. Garrison has two new beverages out, as does North. And the Ladies Beer League is celebrating their second birthday party. Hello and welcome to the June 19th edition of the Maritime Beer Report. The latest Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation annual sales information released this week shows continued exceptional growth for Nova Scotia made craft beer. According to the NSLC, Nova Scotia craft beer sales grew last year by 25.4% compared to 22% for the previous year. This growth is even more significant given that a 1.2% decline in sales in the beer category overall. Overall, the Nova Scotia craft beer industry grew by 35.9% last year, including more than $10 million in direct sales from breweries and private wine stores, in addition to over $5 million sales coming through the NSLC retail outlets. Big Spruce Brewing is having a food truck party every Friday through the summer, and next Friday, June 26th, is the first day. The folks from Free Range Bio Farms were there with their custom big yellow food truck featuring some of their on-farm raised and processed German style Berkshire pork sausages. There will also be potato salad, sauerkraut, chili and lots of other delicious treats. Boxing Rock tells me that their last batch of Sessionista is ready to be released. Sad news but they are brewing a new Session Ale on Monday and the rumor has it that there's rye in it. Stay tuned for more details. Garrison Brewing says that they're pouring Brewhouse Cider in conjunction with their friends Bulwark Ciders and produced right in the old Seaport Brewery. Also Garrison's Coast to Coastless Imperial ESB will be released on Monday. It's a strong 7.6% ABV 50 IBU beer and was made in conjunction with Phillips Brewing, Flying Monkeys Craft Brewing and True Diablo. This will be available at the brewery, in the bottle shops and at the NSLC eventually. Granite Brewery was brewing honey and ginger this week. It should be available next weekend and for the rest of the summer. North Brewing Company produced Hang 10 Birthday Beer for the local source's 10th anniversary and will be out this Saturday at the store and at Lion and Bright. It is a 4.5% ABV hybrid lager dry hop with Wakatu and Columbus hops. Rare Bird Pub opened yesterday for the summer season on Guysboro Waterfront. A great place to sit back and have a Rare Bird craft beer. The God House says it's heading to the Cavendish Beach Music Festival. Located at the top of the festival grounds will be the Gone at the Beach pop-up restaurant featuring handcrafted ales on tap, beer and food demos, a pig roast, and much more. Join the Ladies Beer League at the second birthday party on June 27th at the Wooden Monkey Restaurant in Dartmouth. There will be four special casks made by some of our favorite local craft breweries. Tickets are $25 and that includes five 5 ounce cask samples, a belly full of Wooden Monkey's amazing pizza and of course birthday cake. To celebrate their second year the new, they're going to have some new swag. So come out and celebrate, hang with some awesome people, and give them some ideas for future events or what may come for the beer. The uh, cast samples as we know them right now, Boxing Rock is bringing Rule 42, which is an English IPA collaboration with Hell Bay, Sea Level, and Gone House. Big Spruce is doing up some Pump La Mousse Grapefruit Wheat, uh, yet to be announced as Garrison's Firkin and North Brewing's Cask. Tasting NB is bringing together NB craft alcohol producers of all varieties for the first time. This is an early evening outdoor event taking place across the Capitol Complex patios and surrounding area. Producers include Picaroons, Big Axe, Le Brasseur de Petit Sol, Trailway, Grim Ross, Railcar, The Pump House Brewery, Belle Isle Winery, Red Rover Brewing, Paul and Angel's Mead, The Fee de Roy Spirits, and additional producers will be announced at a later time. This is all taking place on Saturday, June 11th from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. 
Thanks for joining me again this week, and until next time, enjoy responsibly.